Okay, here we go, another update on the rudder. So, former uh, instructor Mike there has been coming in every Monday. Big shout out to him. About half day shifts working with Rich, current student. And once we knew the rudder was good, you know, we've been working on uh, repairing that little crack in the front through our updates. And uh, we're excited, we're getting very close now. We got it back straight, which was significant uh, for this update because what we found out was we started having lots of interference problems and that's probably why somebody ground it down originally. Uh, we think this came from West Sale with the rudder installed. Uh, it wasn't the owner, was how it's reported. So anyways, we, we put the material back, strengthened it up. Uh, the rudder's as good a shape as new, or it will be. Uh, it's gonna be super strong. It just, uh, you know, as everything in the boat world ends up taking twice as long, three times as long as we thought it should. So there's a great, if you're gonna do some work like this, longboard, super important. And so Mike is, uh, he's good. He's been doing this a lot of years and really doing a bang up job. So very happy it's coming together like that and then um, the next thing we had to do was to figure out we had to plug the holes so there was a bunch of taper sanding done and some concentric circles that got bigger and bigger with all the material you know after we took the hole saw to it we definitely needed to to repair all that material and uh, seal it up so that it will not uh, you know get water intrusion again and uh, Mike rolling it out so that was all fine and good. Then we started getting back to um, trying to figure out about installing it. And we wanted to make sure before we barrier coat it and, and do all the final sanding that it's gonna fit. So we noticed we right up on the front here, we needed to put those some thicket epoxy and some temporary skin molds there to, to get the right shape. So we have the shape now, it's super cool. And in the December update, I mentioned that we had uh, Machinist Bill cut out some of the gudgeon up on the top right here and, and clean that up. Well, then we had to grind. We found out we also had interference on the, the forward face there. And, and now we actually have this, you know, where it turns really smooth. It's running in the bearing. Everything is great. Um, the rudder's not binding. And, and binding has been a, been a big deal. Uh, we didn't really check the rudder when we took it apart. It was not perfect. And it, as we put it back together, it's far from perfect. So these these poor guys have put this rudder on about four times now, on and off, maybe five. And um, it's, it's getting a little easier each time. But we now have it working what we call perfectly. And so we'll be able to finish the rudder now and do a, a final install and actually um, seal and bolt that gudgeon back on and uh, and say we have something complete so and then it was super cool right in the nick of time as we're thinking we have the final fit done we got all our parts in from Edson so we ordered new bolts new uh, rudder stop right there uh, the chain and cable kit we're just starting fresh we want the steering to be as new and super reliable so and that includes this new quadrant check that out beautiful uh, unlike the old one the new ones are powder coated and so it should last many many years there's the new long bolt you have to drill the back hole to make sure it matches perfectly with your rudder stock so we picked up a great big drill bit so thanks for watching